We're back to regular season action. There's five games left for the Buttes, starting with this one today. Starting in net for the New York Riveters is Nana Fujimoto from Sapporo, Japan. And in net for Buffalo, it is Brianne McLaughlin from Sheffield, Ohio. And we are underway here from the Harbor Center with Buffalo winning the opening draw from Courtney Kunichika. Off the boards, but it's kept alive by Emily Falzer. Second effort there by Johnston trying to get it out. She can't do so, and it's kept alive by Kunichika. She goes down to the ice, no, and there is a penalty coming up. This one's going to go to the Riveters in Buffalo. Back to the power play. Now for Haley Brown and over the line. Brown goes down, and there's another penalty coming up, and this one is once again going to the Riveters, and I believe it's going to be Gabe Figueroa going for the second time this evening. Duggan has Stedman in the slot. Duggan looking across. Now here's Bozak. Bozek doesn't shoot for Falzer. Falzer fakes the shot. Now in the slot again. Scores! Beautiful pass and play in front. Duggan finds Stenman in the slot. And Buffalo's on the board on the power play. And there's still 56 seconds left in the man advantage. And Buffalo gets on the board first. And now Bray catching with it. Of play. And now and here comes... Haley Williams once again. Williams trying to get around the defender there. And now there's a penalty coming up. That's going to be an illegal check as that one is going to be going to Amber Moore. There's no doubt about that. Duggan still with it. Duggan over back now for Bozek. Bozek with a shot. That one was blocked in front of the net. Fujimoto might have gotten a piece of it. Just seconds left. Five seconds left. There's another shot. Right, it's scored! Stedman with another one. She put a shot on goal, and it looks like Fujimoto misplayed it. And with 3.3 seconds left, Buffalo goes up two to nothing. Just a great shot from the wall by Stedman. She's proven to have one of the better shots in this league. All by herself, just circles into the middle a little bit, takes the wrist shot short side. Fujimoto not ready for it, and she makes it a two nothing game. The Buttes now with the most power play goals in the NWHL with 15, and they will go into the second period up two to nothing. Ammerman with it now. Ammerman in the corner. She'll go in behind the net. Out in front for a chance. Ketchum couldn't connect on it. Another chance. That was kicked away by McLaughlin. Back at full strength is Buffalo. Another shot there. That one's kicked away. The rebound. They still whack for it. And unable to come up with the play there was Ammerman, but kept alive by the Riveters. Good offensive chance here. That shot goes wide of the net in behind. Now here's Packer with it to the front of the net again. And now coming over at the Buttes. Here's Stedman trying to take advantage of a tired Riveters team. Here's Stedman with a shot right on. That one was blocked it away by Nana Fujimoto. And that one goes up into the mesh and out of play. Off the boards, kept alive at the point. There's a shot from Ketchum. That one was blocked. And now here's Ammerman with it again. Or excuse me, there's a shot and a goal there. As that one is in off the stick of Beth Hanrahan. And Hanrahan gets her second goal of the year. And now it's a one-goal game with 9.25 left to go in the second period. And now the puck's cleared away, and here comes Megan Duggan to center. Duggan in over the line. Duggan trying to get around. Ron Duggan, backhand Arena. That stopped the rebound. The puck is lying in the crease. They still whack away, and now it comes free. And away comes Madison Packer for the Riveters. Trying to get around Bozak, and here's Packer with it. Packer winds up a shot. That one was blockered away there by McLaughlin. Now back at the point, Janine Weber. Leaving it over for Dazzle. Oh, and Megan Duggan almost got away with a shorthanded breakaway. Another shot there. That one's kicked away in the rebound. Cleared off into the corner. Now the puck goes back to the point. Here's Dazzle. Jumps over her stick. And here comes Megan Duggan. She's got a shorthanded breakaway. Duggan in. Duggan to the forehand. And it's stopped there by Fujimoto. Broken up there by Ammerman with less than 10 seconds left to go. Puck played off the boards. Here's Bray Ketchum. Three seconds left. Time for maybe one more chance. Packer to the front of the net. Unable to get it there was Ammerman. And Packer couldn't get a shot away as the horn sounds for the second period. Falzer still with it. Falzer to the slot. Bram with it. She falls down and couldn't get a shot away. But Falzer comes up with it for the Buttes. Back at the point for Duggan. Duggan fakes the shot. Now for Falzer. Back for Duggan again. Duggan around one. Shoots one right on. That one was blockered aside by Fujimoto. Nice play there by Duggan to get around Belyakova. And now Skeets got tied up by Johnson again. Another no call. And here come the Riveters two on one. Ammerman with Ketchum. Ketchum with a chance of shot. And she scores. Bray Ketchum converts on the two on one. Beats McLaughlin. Glove side. Top shelf. And we have a tied hockey game with 13.50 left to go here in the third period. And then Duggan coming down one on three. Gets a great opportunity to go backhand to forehand right in front of that. Good save by Fujimoto. Scores! Finally, Shelby Bram gets one on the tip. As the shot from the point came, I believe it was from Megan Bozek. 
and Shelby Graham puts Buffalo back on top, 3-2 to two, with 7.39 to go. New York's net is empty. Fujimoto on the bench, six on five here. And now Aaron Zach trying to clear the zone. She can't do so. And with a second effort, here's Kelly Stenman looking for the hat trick. Stenman still with the putt. Stenman in over the line. Stenman gets it in, and it's blocked there. And now it's going to be... And I'm surprised they didn't whistle that down. That was a glove pass, and now it's knocked down by Aaron Zach. And an empty net chance for Williams, and that one was knocked down by Morgan Fritz Ward. An incredible effort by Bray Ketchum to block the shot by Stedman, though. It should have been whistled down and called on the glove pass. And now here's Haley Williams with it. Haley Williams trying to get it to the net in front for Aaron Zach. But that one was knocked away by the Riveters. 1.30 left to go. Here in the third period, Buffalo looking to solidify its first ever win on home ice. Here's Aaron Zach. Empty net. She scores. That will do it. Buffalo is going to get their first win on home ice ever. Aaron Zach scores, making her first goal in the NWHL into the empty net. And... Buffalo now increases its lead to four to two. Falls are off the boards, back of the point, kept alive by Johnson. That puck's well wide of the net. Five seconds left. Bozak gets it. She flips it off the boards and down the ice, and that is gonna do it. The Buffalo Buttes make history as they win their first home game ever here at the Harbor Center by a final score of four to two.